and all you're gonna have is Leah Davis. I might have the truth. So how's the big case? It's getting bigger all the time. She wants things escalated. She wants a mess. Dee, I know that you're upset about what happened. Believe me, I am too. But we can't fall apart over this. All right, Delilah fans, we have, um, wow, next week is the premiere of this new series. And yeah, I know it's almost been almost a week since the trailer was released on the own network. But, you know, between a crap ton of other things, I've been busy. So I decided to finally sit down and, you know, watch the trailer. I thought it was really good. It's just that there isn't too much to say just yet. I feel like this extended trailer did a good job of showcasing that this storyline is going to get pretty uh, pretty in-depth. I mean, this trailer really didn't show us anything in regards to what we haven't already seen, either in the previous first look promo, as well as different articles and whatnot. I think that really... It's showcasing the fact that Delilah and Tamara, it, you know, their friendship is definitely going to be tested due to the fact that they're going to unfortunately have to go against each other in court. So before going further, uh, the trailer itself is about 90 seconds long. So obviously for copyright you know, purposes, I wasn't able to show the entire trailer at the beginning of this video. So go ahead and check out the full trailer if you haven't done so already. I will leave a link to that in the top comment below so you can check out that trailer in its entirety and then, you know, come back to this video so you can like pause this, watch the full trailer, then come back to this as I break it down. But before going further, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Also hit the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out when I post new content to the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. I do need to create a Facebook group for Delilah. I will put that on my to-do list. And also hit subscribe to help me reach 200,000 subscribers. Yeah, because next week is going to be pretty intense. I literally, before uh, recording this video, I stood up and ripped off February from the calendar. First of all, daylight savings time. Holy crap, I forgot all about that. Um, so ne this is my last full week to really get a lot of stuff done before my plate gets a little fuller because of the fact that next Tuesday on the 9th, we have, okay, I have no idea what that was outside. We have Delilah's premiere. And then on the 11th, which is that Thursday, Ruthless is coming for season two on BET+. And then of course, I'm still reviewing The Oval as well as Sisters. Uh, Sisters is going to be over in a few weeks, so early April, but you know, once that's done, it will be a nice little break because Delilah comes on Tuesday night. So Wednesday will be a good follow up day for Oval and Delilah videos. Thursday's Ruthless and then that's it. So all that to be said, I think we only had a couple new characters introduced in the trailer. Um, you know, we got Leah, who is Delilah's friend from college. It looks like she's the one who Delilah is going to be representing because it all pretty much is summed up by the fact that Leah has apparently found something at her job that isn't, I guess you could say, legit. I mean, there was this one scene where we see Tamara in like a warehouse and then one guy's pushing out like a box of explosives and whatnot which begs the question you know what's this linked up to i mean obviously some shady business behind closed doors and delilah is tasked with representing leah in court the problem is tamara is in a position where if she wins this case for the company she's going to be partner basically she's going to she it's just interesting to see tony from girlfriends in a Joan position, you know, as a, you know, a great attorney and the fact that her and Delilah have been friends for years. I think in the trailer, she's like, look, 20 years of us not going against each other in court. Let's not start now. I mean, yeah, that sucks. Two decades of you and your friend in the same field, never having to go against each other one on one in the court. But now you finally will have to face each other in court. And lo and behold, it's the biggest case of tomorrow's life. The fact that if she's able to win this 
case for her client, then that means she's going to get a huge boost in her career. So the trailer does start off in an interesting scene where you have, um, you know, a young black woman talking with Delilah. I don't know if she herself is a lawyer or if she's like somebody trying to get an interview, but basically she's like, do you have any advice for any young black lawyers out there? Uh, she said, well, if you want to do it for the money, you do it for the money but I do it for the people because I believe in some of the early synopsis of the series itself. It was stated that, you know, Delilah, like Tamara, was at the top of her game, winning these huge uh, cases for clients, but it got to the point where she decided to uh, start focusing more on the little man. And I do believe uh, last month they released a lengthy article, and I remember doing a <laughs> breakdown uh, video on it, kind of going over all of the various characters, but I do believe that Delilah's ex-husband was a college professor and he had an affair with one of his students. And due to that, you know, event kind of shaking the foundation of Delilah's life, she decided to step back and, you know, refocus on her children. And that led to her kind of stepping down from the spotlight as a, uh, you know, hot shot attorney to focus more on the people. So it's almost like one of those things where I know we'll find out more as the series progresses, but my guess is I'm not saying that Delilah wasn't a caring person. Maybe that's not the case. Um, you know, when she was at the top of her game, you know, well, ma to make a Marvel, you know, comparison, if you watch Dr. Strange, the, you know, Stephen Strange was like Tony Stark. The fact that, you know, he was a hot shot, rich, wealthy, very good at his craft as a surgeon. But, you know, his recklessness led to an accident that almost cost him his life and his ability to perform surgery. And it wasn't until he was humbled that, you know, he decided to fight more for the people and save, you know, them as opposed to just doing it for the money. So in the same vein as Delilah, maybe she was the kind of person who was only in it for the money. Um, but at the same time, maybe she was kind of neglectful to her family in the fact that that led to her husband cheating on her and maybe she wasn't the best mother. But after that happened, she decided to kind of step back and focus more on the little guy as opposed to just, you know, doing it for the money. That's just a guess. I don't know yet. We'll find out when we actually get into the series. So after that, um, you know, we go into Leah talking with Delilah and the fact that, you know, I was trying to do the right thing at work and that led to a lot of trouble. Hence why Leah's there to get, Lila to I mean Delilah to represent her and there are various scenes and captions that come across the screen during the trailer such as you know when there's a cover-up um, that leads to friends becoming rivals and you know just little uh, captions that appear across the screen during the trailer so it definitely seems like a mystery kind of show like okay how deep does this cover-up go and it must be deep if they're trying to si silence uh, Leah, I think it was either Leah or Delilah saying in the trailer, like they were being followed. You know, we got like cops, you know, sitting on the curb, um, you know, then there's a scene. I love this scene in any kind of movie like this or show where somebody goes into an, a room and somebody's trying to figure out clues there or maps and, you know, strings attached all around the place. So it's really cool um, to kind of see that on a show like this because you know, I love the Flash season one, you know, uh, where Barry was really shown to be a forensic scientist working for the Central City Police State, uh, Department. And he was trying to figure out who killed his mother to reverse Flash. So I just love shows like this. And as a person who does kind of theories and, you know, looks into things that this seems like my kind of show. And on top of that, I believe we get our first look at uh, Casey, who is Tamara's love interest in the deputy mayor of Charlotte. Uh, played by LaMonica Garrett, and as an Arrowverse fan, I know him for playing the Monitor and Anti-Monitor in the CW-verse. So we also see another gentleman there. This is at, like, I guess you could say, like a party or something, and, you know, Delilah was invited by Tamar. I was like, hey, come on by. We'll hang out. We'll talk about old times, have a few drinks. We are not talking about the case. And there's another interesting scene where Tamar is like, look, I have a ton of resources, the best, you know, resources here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And all you have is Leah Davis. And then, you know, the lot is like, well, I have the truth. So it's just one of those situations where we're going to see whether or not the truth can trump money and resources, because you just look at the day and age we live in. Well, this isn't new where we have these companies, these celebrities, 
these powerful people that pretty much, you know, cut corners and do shady things behind the scenes. It's just one of those things where not all money is clean money. Some people, sometimes it's those shortcuts and stepping on people along the way and crushing those who get in your way in order to make it to the top. It doesn't matter who you have to step on to reach the top and get rich and powerful. You will do it. But you know, whatever Leah found had to be a big deal if she's either being, you know, blackball, railroaded to the point where she has to get Delilah's help because it makes sense. The way I look at it is Leah is getting Delilah's help because number one, nobody else who represent her. It's possible that the clients that Tamara is rep Tamara is representing may be paid off by the lawyers like, hey, I'll pay you X amount of money not to take this case. Or we're gonna spend the most money we can on Tamara because she's like the best of the best, the cream de the cr uh, the cream de la creme, as opposed to Delilah, who was probably at that same level of notoriety as Tamara, but at the same time stepping back from the spotlight and focusing more on helping the little guy, that probably helped Tamara elevate herself. So, I think it might be a matter of Tamara not wanting Delilah to go against her in court. Not just due to friendship, but because she knows that she's that good. I mean, just think about how we heard a little Tony Childs like, Delilah, I have like the best resources here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and all you have is uh, Leah. So it's just one of those things where, you know what? Maybe she's trying to, you know, um, manipulate her, discourage her. I just feel like if Tamara wasn't worried about losing, she would just not even say anything about it. But she most likely is concerned because there's a lot on the line for her career hence why she doesn't want to go against her friend that that's what i think because delilah is really that good she's like that she is almost like you know eddie murphy after his two stand-ups um delirious and raw he decided to step back from the stand-up stage and focus on other things and you know now he's trying to make a comeback on stage, uh, what was it a Netflix special? I don't know when it's supposed to come out, but I, I'm interested in seeing what he would have to do or have to say. But, you know, it's just one of those things where you just wonder, does he still got it? So the same thing with Delilah. I don't doubt that she does. I mean, it's just a matter of integrity. It's just, you know, not to make have and have not comparisons, but Delilah's kind of giving me Hannah vibes where it's more about uh, morality than it is about the money. So there you go. And yeah, the big question is, will their friendship be able to survive what goes down in the courtroom? I mean, what would you think if you lost a case that would have been life changing for you for the better and your best friend is the one to do it? I mean, do you, would you feel betrayal or would you figure, well, if I was going to, you know, get knocked off my game by anybody, I want it to be my friend as opposed to a stranger. Who knows? But with that being said, guys, um, that's really all I got to say for this particular video. The trailer itself, you know, was pretty good. But like I said, it really just kind of expanded upon what we already know, which is Delilah and Tamara having to unfortunately confront each other in the courtroom. Uh, not too many other characters introduced in this particular trailer. But like I said, next week, the show's coming on. I'm pretty sure we'll be introduced to a plenty of characters from there. I hope it has like the same impact as Ambitions, where after the first episode, I'm like, holy crap. I got to watch this every week. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you excited for Delilah? I know a lot of people still want it Greenleaf, but, or the spinoff series, but Delilah ain't it. Um, do you think that the friendship between Tamara and Delilah will survive the courtroom? I honestly feel like it's going to be a struggle, but you never know. So thanks so much for tuning in. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join Patreon for as little as $1 a month.